Okay, then, Mining Sim 2 just released their Part 2 Father Christmas event, so let's go over what's new. There's a new feature, which is their Advent Calendar, which will give you a new exclusive reward, basically just like a login reward bonus. There's a brand new Blizzard Egg, which will have some more secret pets and, I'm assuming, a new Ancient pet. And the Season 7 Mining Pass was also just released. Okay, then, first things first, let's go buy the new Season 7 Mining Pass, okay, then. So, I'm not going to complete it in this video, I'm probably going to wait until I go for the Ancient pets. I'm assuming the Season 7 Mining Pass Egg have ancient pets in them so I'm probably gonna go for one of the ancients okay in a future video but I will unlock it because it does give you an extra pet you can equip and also it gives me some extra luck so now instead of this pet being like one in 215,000 actually I think it's the exact same I think I have to rejoin for that to update okay I went ahead and rejoined and it did update so I actually went down by like 50,000 so definitely was worth it however I, I gotta say again, man, it's actually the exact same rarity as uh, the previous tier fall legend, the previous egg, the lunar egg. I'll say it again, I said it in the Halloween event, I, I don't like these. I, I, I like tier fall legendaries, don't get me wrong, but this is just unnecessarily rare. Like, it, it is way too rare. Like, to me, it feels like a pretty, like, lazy way to have players just play your game for longer to try and get, like, the index or whatever, because, I mean, it's one in, like, 200,000 base odds. I'm personally just not really a big fan of that because it's just like I said, it just feels like a lazy way to like keep people engaged in the game rather than like introducing something that's like actually pretty fun. It's just like, yeah, AFK longer. I don't know. Anyway, next up, I guess we should actually go ahead and uh, claim all of my rewards from the advent calendar. So, so far, there's only boosts. Okay, we do get a new pet low on day one and day 25. I actually already claimed this one in the intro. I actually don't know what the Christmas cuboid is. Is it any good? It better be. It's, I mean, it's day one, I can't complain, okay? Well, that doesn't mean I am not gonna go ahead and claim all of the lucky rewards, okay? I am not turning down any free boosts. Especially when it gives you, like, four hours of Omega lucky boost! What? Okay, that's actually pretty good, I, I, I like that. I, I absolutely like that. But I should go ahead and uh, claim all of these really fast. Unfortunately, they didn't add in a new pet to the event shop, and they also didn't add in... Oh, they haven't added in a new shop for... Uh, a couple weeks now for the uh, featured shop. I was kind of hoping that they would actually do a new Roblox pet because I'm, like I said in like the previous video, I don't really have anything to give away right now because I just don't really think I have that many interesting pets right now that people would be interested in. So I was kind of hoping like, okay, maybe we'll get a new uh, Roblox pet and I could give that away, but yeah. So I'm probably gonna wait until I either do a new Roblox pet or until I get lucky and get some new secret pets, which will probably be in the uh, season seven mining pass video. Okay, I know they didn't mention anything about any new layers or any new ores, but we might as well go check, right? And also, it does give me some more bells, although we've got like 51 trillion, probably don't really need any more for the entirety of the event, but it never hurts to have extra. Okay, I made it to max def, and yeah, there's nothing new down here. The best snow is still 450,000, and the best ore is still the blizzard eye, but that's still fine, because either way, I still gotta sell and get even more bells, but... Just before we do sell, even though I do have currently my best Christmas team, we still have one more pet we can add to my team, which is the, not Jelly Cuboid, the Christmas Cuboid, which even though it doesn't sound that good, I mean, it's still more of a multiplier, so how many do I have now? 80 trillion, okay, that's pretty darn good. Also, I just realized, I don't know how it took me so long to realize, there is new music here, they finally fixed it, so now I don't have to, like, edit the old music in. But other than that, I guess it's time we start grinding the new Blizzard Ego Kill. But before we do that, we should probably go ahead and put some boosts on because, uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, this pet is way too rare. Even with all of the boosts on, I think it's still a little bit too rare. P please, can we like cut it in half at the very least? That would be very nice. We're back. It has been three days just to get one of these bells so yeah i actually have got four of them but three of them i did trade for the one i got myself took three days this is why i just don't like the really really rare tier falls it's just kind of a waste of time to be honest but we have done the index now let me go quickly make them shiny and we'll go claim the shiny index and there we are okay now that we have all of the pets let's go ahead and level them up give them enchantments and check out the stats also yeah unfortunately i didn't get any of the secrets even though i'm pretty sure i hatched like around 200,000 eggs but still 200,000 eggs just for a blizzard bell which i mean to be fair i got really unlucky because that's like what three times like just a little bit more than like 2.5 times the amount of chance that i should have had for it 
And with that, now we have all of the shiny legendaries from the Blizzard Egg maxed out. So that being said, let's go over the stats. The most common one is going to be the present Mimic, which has 38k coins, 32k power, 5k speed, and 4k bills. It's not super weak, but for most players, this definitely isn't worth using your enchantments on. Next up is the Frozen Hexarium. Its stats actually aren't that much better, with 44k power, 41k coins, 5.5k speed, and 4.5k bells. But I guess it makes sense because it isn't all that much rarer than the Mimic. And then for the big legendaries, we have the Enraged Phoenix, which has 118k power, 113k coins, and then 8.1k speed and bells. And finally, then, the tier 4 legendary, the Blizzard Bell, which has 159k power and coins, 16k bells and 11k speed, which is really strong. It's just a shame that it's super rare despite it not being a secret. And even though it wasn't in the Blizzard Egg, I might as well throw the Christmas Cube in here as well, which is actually the pet you get from the Day 1 rewards of the Advent Calendar. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it shiny because it looks like you can only get one of them, unless you trade for more of them to make a shiny one. But for a free pet, it's actually pretty darn strong. It has 29k power, 27k coins, 3.6k speed, and 3k bells. That's pretty good. For free pets. And then for people that are curious about what the pets look like, Haley Allen. So the Christmas Cuboid is the pet that you get for free from the Advent Calendar. I guess it's kind of cool for a free pet, but it is like pretty boring. It's just a box. It's just a shape. Oh boy. The Frozen Hexagram is kind of like the same. It's just a shape. But this time covered in ice. Yay. Same for the bell, honestly. I mean, it's just a bell with a face on it. Shiny does look pretty cool. But for particle effects, I mean, the Enraged Phoenix looks angry with the aura although i gotta say for the best pet in my opinion from the blizzard egg i think it's gonna be the present mimic which i want to say is the most common one I, to be honest it does remind me a lot of isagul from lumi legacy but i mean look at it look at it 